Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca. Let's talk about makeup. So today I'm doing my July update for my deck of panning project pan. So this project was created by Emily from Emily and Max. She was inspired by a booktuber named Books with Maddie who invented this as a game to help her get through her to be read pile, which I think is pretty genius. In any case, I will link these ladies down below along with Emily's project spreadsheet, which includes the rules, the game board and the prompts for this game in case you wanna join in with us. It is a lot of fun. So some of you may have noticed I did not actually update this project last month. Listen, June was just a lot. It was a lot and something had to give and that thing was my deck of panning update and also my pan that palette update. Okay, there were a few videos that I did not get to. It was just June was a lot. So the upside to that is that we now have a full refresh, which is always a lot of fun. So I'm really quickly going to take you through all of the products that are rolling out and then we will draw all new cards. So I have six products to talk about with you here. Usually in this project, you're going to be working with five products at a time, unless you have drawn a specific card that then prompts you to pick up two products. However, I've got six because one of those products was actually rolling through from the previous month and only had two uses left on it. So I went ahead and pulled another card for that one. That one was my Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Vivid Labradorite. I only had two uses left on that. I got those two uses and then promptly decluttered that product. I can't remember the last time I have had such a useless product <laughs> in my collection. It didn't work in any capacity for anything. It didn't work as an eyeliner. It didn't certainly didn't work as a liquid eyeshadow as I assumed that it would. It was not shimmery, okay? I have several shimmer and glows in my collection. This one was just, it was, it was barely a satin once it had dried down. It was not pretty, it was patchy. I couldn't get it to work as a liner. I couldn't get it to work as shadow. It didn't even work as a base. It was just completely and utterly useless. So as soon as I got those last two uses, I threw the thing away. I threw it away. I didn't declutter it to anybody. I would not inflict such a terrible product on anyone. In any case, that one is gone. I had a couple of other products also rolling through from the previous month. One of those was my Pat McGrath Sunlit Seduction Mothership. And this is what she looks like. I had this one in, I think I rolled it in in February and I had rolled it in for 30 uses. I got my last five uses on it back in June and she is also rolling out. Last product that was rolling through from a previous month was my Moira Glitter Liner in the shade, let's see, 04 Show off. This is a really pretty champagne-y uh, glitter eyeliner. I enjoyed this one. It just didn't really mesh with a lot of my, uh, in the summertime, the makeup that I wear is a lot more lightweight, a lot more <laughs> low coverage, not, a, not as much eyeshadow for sure. And this was hard to incorporate into that style of makeup. So this one was in for six more uses. I got those six uses and it is rolling out. So I drew three new cards in May and one of them was the Eight of Clubs that corresponded to a prompt called Relates to Another Project. For that one, I went to a project pan called the Happy Hour Project Pan, which is a fantastic ladies collab. I pulled the prompt Cheers from that project, which was something in a glass bottle. And for that prompt, I rolled in my Giorgio Armani uh, Power Fabric Foundation in the shade 4.5. This is a product that I really enjoy mixing into uh, BB creams just to give them a little bit more more staying power on my combo oily skin and I rolled this in for 10 uses and I used it 10 times. I also drew the two of diamonds and the prompt for that was eyeshadow. For that I chose my L'Oreal 24 hour infallible eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush. It is a semi-loose uh, pigment that has this little stopper to keep everything tamped down. That is how she's looking. This is one of my favorite one and done shadows of all time. It's this beautiful pinky champagne color. Let me see if I can swatch it without sticking my fingernail in there. There is a little gouge right there. I think that's the only difference that you could see uh, between when I rolled this in and now, and that's just because I stuck my fingernail in it. So it is just this beautiful pinky champagne, a lot of re reflectivity. It is just so pretty. And I used this several times as a one and done shadow. And I also used it to augment a few of the other eyeshadow looks that I did throughout the last couple of months. This was also in for 10 uses and I used it 10 times. The last card I drew was the two of hearts, which corresponded to the prompt seasonal. And for that, I chose my Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. This is a powder that I, it, it's good all year round, 
but I really, really love it during the summertime. It is an incredibly mattifying loose powder, not a chalky, dry, nasty, mattifying loose powder, but a really blurring lightweight powder that keeps my oily combo skin matte for actually a significant period of time. Those of you with the same skin type as me will understand the struggle. A lot of the time you'll powder your T-zone and then 15 minutes later, it's like uh, you did nothing. And this is one of the only powders that I've ever found that actually keeps me matte for a significant period of time. So during the summertime, this really is an MVP for me. Uh, we are really, running out right here. I, the line of the powder is right here. So I don't have much left to go before she is all gone and it will absolutely be a repurchase. I rolled the honest powder in for 10 uses as well. And I used it 19 times. So that is all of the products that I have been working on over the last couple of months. Let's draw some new cards. I have my Mandalorian cards that my husband bought for me. Let me find the jokers just so I can show you that they are in here. Okay, here we go. So I've got the two jokers here. I have a little Jawa and I have a Tusken Raider. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Jawa. I'm gonna set aside the Tusken Raider and we're gonna put the Jawa into the deck. I'm gonna shuffle that a few times. So a little bit of irony here, okay? <laughs> Even though I did not film last month, I didn't film this update last month, I've had to film this video twice. So I was going out of town and I left on the 17th. So I actually filmed this a little bit early with the intention of uh, editing and then posting it while I was on the road. Unfortunately, the footage was unsalvageable, um, devastatingly enough. <laughs> I actually don't remember what cards I pulled or what products I chose. So instead of racking my brain, trying to remember what cards I drew and what products I chose and what the prompts were, etc., cetera, et cetera, um, I am just going to go ahead and draw new cards. I did not draw the Joker last time, nor I don't think I drew anything that was, uh, I thought, felt was particularly challenging. I didn't get any extra products. Uh, it was no big deal. So actually I'm taking a little bit of a risk here, just completely redrawing the cards. <laughs> I may live to regret this choice. I have also removed both black aces. Those correspond to the get, get out of jail free card, which I drew back in January and I have not yet used. So I have removed those from the deck so that I don't accidentally pull a second one. All right, it's good enough. It's good enough. So first we have the five of hearts, the jack of diamonds, the king of spades. I haven't, I haven't pulled any face cards for ages. The two of spades, one more, the three of spades. <laughs> I swear I shuffled these. <laughs> All right, okay, these are my five cards. Let's take a look at the game board. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over here. And we can look at the game board together. Okay, here is the game board. Emily has shuffled this for the month of July so that even if you draw the same cards this month that you did last month, you would still get new prompts. The first card that I drew was the five of hearts and that is matches eye color. So it's gonna have to be something brown that doesn't double dip with any of my 50 shades of brown products. We've got most of my brown products rolled in there. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do with that one. The next one was the Jack of Diamonds and that is a cream or liquid product. And then we have the King of Spades and that is something that has a pan. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I actually don't have a ton of stuff that has pan, but I'm sure we can find something. Okay, next was the two of spades and that is an eyeshadow. I got this prompt last time. Sure, we can find something. And then the three of spades, which is B-O-M-B. What the heck does that mean? B-O-M-B, black owned makeup brand. Duh. <laughs> that should not be a problem at all. Okay, those are my prompts. I'm gonna go ahead and pick my products and I will be right back. Okay, I have pulled my products. I'm actually pretty excited about this lineup. So the first thing I pulled was the Five of Hearts and that's something that matches my eye color. And you know what I thought? I thought, you know, I'm, I'm working on like three bronzers and other projects. What's a fourth? 
What's a fourth? <laughs> Why not? Let's just throw in a fourth. Actually, I really do want to get a little bit more use out of this. This is a little benefit duo I picked up at the beginning of the year at TJ Maxx. I think I picked it up for like $12. It's the Hula Treasure Island Bronzer and Blush Duo. This is a little deep for me. And the reason why I picked it was because this Hula Toasted shade has a beautiful, almost reddish undertone to it. I don't know if you can tell there from that swatch on the back of my hand, but there's a little bit of a ruddiness to this bronzer, which I find really flattering, especially on my summer skin tone. And I have used it a few times this summer. I have really enjoyed it. And I do want to get a little bit more use out of it before the summer is over. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this one here into the project for 10 uses. And then we have the Jack of Spades and that corresponded to something that has a pan. Now I don't have a lot of products in my collection that have pan that aren't already in other projects. However, I did remember that I have this. This is my Salt New York Magnetic Palette. And I have, here I have four Salt New York products. This, These are products that I have depotted from a Makeup Forever, for it. why am I saying that so weird? Makeup Forever, <laughs> Makeup Forever Palette. Uh, the one that I am pulling in for this one, obviously, is this. This is the Salt New York Sneaky Balm. I believe it's in the shade 10. It is a really lovely complexion product that is absolutely 100% undetectable on the skin. It is a very, I would call it a sheer to light coverage. It just offers a little bit of perfecting. It is a really, really beautiful product. Very, very much a no makeup makeup type of product. It is the perfect thing for the summertime when both I don't have time for a full face of makeup and it's 102 degrees outside. Who wants a full face of makeup under those conditions? Not me, not me. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this one in for 10 uses. While we are in this palette, I also pulled the Jack of Diamonds that's right here and that corresponded with a cream or liquid product. So I thought I would go ahead and just pull this one in as well. It is a highlighter in the shade beige. It, this is such a pretty highlighter and I have not gotten anywhere near enough use on it. It just, there's really no shimmer here. It is just a really beautiful, very, very lifelike sheen. Absolutely gorgeous. And I definitely need to get a little more use on this. Highlighter isn't really something that I really often think to use. However, I figure while I'm already in here to use the Sneaky Balm, I should be able to get a few uses out of the highlighter as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this one in for 10 uses as well. Then we had the Two of Spades and that one corresponded to the prompt eyeshadow. For that one, I'm bringing in a liquid eyeshadow. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade Khaki Cool. It is this beautiful green color. I need to get a little bit more use out of this thing. It is really beautiful. It is the sort of thing that dries down and stays put. It is bulletproof. I could use a few more green eye looks. I mean, I could have used this as a base for the eye look I'm using right now, but I didn't because I didn't think to pull it out of my drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this into the project for 10 uses. Last, I had the three of spades and that was BOMB, black owned makeup brand and I am pulling in something from Pat McGrath. Good old Pat. She's got these beautiful, beautiful balm blushes. This one is in the shade Divine Rose. This is one of my favorite summertime makeup products. It is so beautiful and yeah, I'm just gonna put some on right now. Why not? Why not? It is so beautiful and juicy and just, I don't know, just delicious looking on the cheek. Do you see that? Do you see that glow? Ah. Oh. It is not the most long lasting product that I have ever used in my life, but it's just, I don't know. It is just so pretty and fresh on the cheeks. I just, I love it. And I have not, I don't think I've used it even once this summer and that is a tragedy. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this one in for 10 uses as well. And that is everything. And those are the products I will be working on for the next month. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.